Let's go! It was at this moment I knew I can't go back to PS5 controller or an arcade stick ever again. How can I say this without being too dramatic? One hour later. Fighting games are painful. Yeah, you see these hands? They start to hurt when I use sticks and stuff. I've been thinking, Street Fighter 6 is like around the corner, three to four months or so away, and I think, should we go into the new generation with new controllers, new styles of playing, things that are more comfortable to play on? I realized in a Street Fighter 6 beta, I played more matches of a fighting game recently in that beta than probably most fighting games since after 2018. And the rematch system is so fast, it just keeps you wanting to play, but for long gated play times i want my hands to be intact this controller right here i think this is the worst playstation controller ever created i generally hate the ps5 controller because it feels more akin to like xbox it feels like it's built for shooters and not pretty much fighting games or action games if that makes any sense i hate it just just know i don't like this controller like that but I vastly remember when the PS5 came out, I couldn't do this. So you may be wondering, why haven't I streamed fighting games either or anything of that nature? Well, right now, I am in the learning phase of using the future of fighting games. I am using a hitbox now. I am a cheater now. Let's go. This thing is the best of both worlds. Imagine like Gogeta, but for controllers. It got the buttons like PlayStation, and they got the arcade stick layout that's peak. It also doesn't help that one day on YouTube, I was scrolling and then the homepage was like, hey, look at Hax's hands from Smash Bros. He almost had to quit. So I'd rather be safe than sorry later down the road and develop some type of weird arthritis or things of that nature. Shout out to Edo Sid for saving your boy's hands. <laughs> okay, go check his content out down below. He makes a lot of gameplay videos, a lot of funny memes, he gonna blow up. I believe in him, man. I believe him. Go check him out. This is a Vitrix hitbox. This is probably the most premium hitbox you can get. Now, there's way cheaper hitboxes. There's the normal hitbox from Hitbox Arcade. I like that one, too. That was the very first one that made me want to switch years ago. Just never put the money into it. Then there's the Junk Food Customs, Junk Food Arcade hitbox, which is small and compact. If you travel a lot, you want to take it with you. It may be it for you, but I'm a big boy. I know a lot of people love it because it's portable, it's small, and it's comfortable. But for me, I like to have something with weight to it. For me, when I travel, I only need two bags. So I got a Kwamba bag that can fit this stick in here. And bam, we lit. <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick skit on why you might want to never play on a PS5 controller or a stick again, personally. See Chung Lee right here? Favorite video game waifu fighting game character ever. Always love this character. But I did not understand charge motions until about 2019 pandemic. Because that's what I had the time to sit down like, all right, okay, let's learn it. This will change how you want to play your fighting games. You might switch archetypes because of this thing. I'm not joking. Like, I'll explain. Hey, you, you watching this video, you this far in the video, and you haven't hit the subscribe button. I would love if y'all subscribe. It's going to get lit. And let's return back to the video. I've been known about charge inputs since Street Fighter 2. However, the first time he actually attempted to try to learn a game to an extent was base Street Fighter 4. And I couldn't do this input at all. The Gao Super, the Chung Li Super, I couldn't do them at all. The fact that I learned how to do this within 20 minutes of playtime on the hitbox made me so happy. It just clicked. It just clicked. And then I'll show you my most dreaded input in fighting games on the controller. Used to have my hand hurting back in the day. That makes it so easy to do on the hitbox. So, my obsession with Tekken comes from Smash Bros, right? I'm gonna break this down to y'all. Yeah, so pretty much right now, I'm kinda get used to doing it. But I could do that. I couldn't do this like on, on a stick or a controller. This input, didn't make sense to me, but I fucking love that I could do that dad. Now the hardest part about using the hitbox is using, I think, I don't even know my finger ringers. <laughs> finger ringers? What? Okay, the hardest part about hitbox is using this finger, the ring finger, I think. That's what that's called. <laughs> but this part is very hard to use because you need to be able to strip. I honestly will recommend you, if you want to learn hitbox, I have big meaty hands, you see it? Yeah, big old hands. So I think learning this right here, this button, how to use this finger will get you so far. Once you get used to that, 
It's crazy. I'm tired of you. Put Christy back in the game. This dang hitbox, hitboxes period, give you the shortcuts to learn how to play with these characters the most optimal way. And honestly makes a lot of inputs easier. I'm not gonna lie to you, the Gal Super, the Chung Lee Super, I could not do until I got on this thing. On stick, sometimes charging and holding it a certain way makes it very hard for me. I'm using a Quan Bob sitting with no mods on it, so that makes it hard for me to sometimes I mess up charges some ways. <laughs> And on the controller, it just feels very cramped trying to hold the D-pad. I'm not really a big fan of D-pad for fighting games. Yes, I'm the 1% of people that actually will do every combo with this. I play BB Tag with this. See this right here? Why are you the way that you are? I can't, I play fighting games with this. I play Mortal Kombat with this. I'm weird, I know. I, I see my way out. I see my way out. But even though I'm hyping up, you should probably switch to Hitbox for Street Fighter 6. There is a few things that are struggling, that is hard about the Hitbox. This button right here is the hardest button to do in a fighting game. So there's moments when I'm playing the games and this is your jump button. So you have to have it on your thumb, right? Blocking and jumping are probably like the two hardest things right now. But it comes with time and practice. Once you get used to it, you will fall in love with these buttons, baby. I'll show you some examples of another issue that I was kind of struggling with with Hitbox, but I'm getting there after like at least five to 10 hours of practice so far, I believe. You don't need an arcade stick or a Hitbox to play fighting games. You can play on your preferred controller of choice. Heck, there's even Brook Converters so you can play on an Xbox controller. So no, you do not need a Hitbox or arcade stick to play fighting games on. You are good to just use a PS5 controller or an Xbox One controller. Heck, I used the GameCube controller on BB Tag before. Don't sleep. I could make it work if I can. This all comes down to your preference and your choice. However, I will say this stick probably is going to be the best way to play fighting games going forward for me now. I can't go back. I'm I'm stuck in the gulag. I'm in the doomed dimension of hitbox. They're the cheat box and stuff like that. I know we'd make the joke about people cheating on them and stuff like that, but it ain't really cheating. It just makes things make more sense easier because they're just inputs, right? And you still gotta learn the shortcuts and the inputs and the execution to do them. Like right now, I still haven't learned how to do quarter circle back uh quarter circle four supers like in guilty gear strive that is hard you're probably like yeah why are you playing street fighter 5 right now <laughs> well i think street fighter 5 would probably be the good game to try to at least get comfortable with it because it is a six button fighter and it uses almost all the buttons so i'm trying to get used to this and i'm not really perfect at using all the buttons on a stick either like my stick layout would be you no know, it'd be like a b c maybe d right depending on the game and then the bottom row would be like, that's usually how I pick my layout. It's just comfortable. It's like left to right, like reading, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna actually get to a point where I'm gonna be feeling like streaming fighting games because my hands don't hurt after like two to three hours of play. And it doesn't really hurt with the PS5 controller because I'm used to holding controllers for so long, but I just don't like the PS5 controller. It's literally my least favorite controller of all time that being said if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe it helps your boy out a lot man stop playing do it do it for the one time thank you for 17.5k by the way join the description down below to get discord updates for when i drop new content you guys already know you guys are golden and that is raw squalor peace and i'm out I've been a devil, I need me a hawk and I'm one of my breathing, I feel like time's raw Walking this bitch with a zomp, I don't wanna let you rock it, I keep me a domino Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a zaki, stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates I'm stretching the soul like right out of a body, fire I'm spitting, I'm feeling like Dobby White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy, she from Kiyoshi, I paint her face suit